Hey guys, Gokusum for the one here, oh yeah, and welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Um, today I'll be battling a person named Sabrina, and as you can see by her team, it's a pretty OU team, honestly. There's, I think there's four OU Pokemon, no, five OU t Pokemon, so, yeah, I don't know if Metagross is OU or Garvantula, but if they are, five OU Pokemon there, because I definitely know Jellicent isn't. And my team only has three. I don't know if Blissey's OU, though. Might have four. Anyways, let's get into this battle. As you can see by her team, she did have a uh, Garvantula, so I predicted that I went out to my Blissey, because I know I can take the Sunders for days. I do not care if she sets up Sticky Webs, because my team don't doesn't really get affected by them that much. And also, I have Flamethrower on my Blissey, so 2-hit two, two KO for that Garvantula right there. So I go for the Flamethrower, and she went for the Sticky Webs first. Which, again, doesn't really matter. It doesn't really affect my team. But, yes. She goes for the Thunder thunder here. As you can see, it does really nothing to my ability. But she does get that 10% power hacks. And I was like, ugh. Because I thought it said unable to move. And I she got power hacks there. But she didn't. I was happy about that. I read the thing wrong. And I got the flamethrower out. Take Or a flamethrower off. Taking out that Garvantula. So she sends out her Infernape next. And I'm like, eh. I've taken none of that. So I switch out of Swixie and I bring in Bacterian. Now Bacterian can take like fighting moves specifically for days. Because poison isn't really affected by fighting. Oh it isn't at all. And also this thing is bulky as crap in defense. So it's a really good support for Blissey. It's just overall amazing for defense and yeah. So he sends out his Infernape predicting that I would go for a sludge bomb and switches out to his I mean hers so I I, I mess up on that sometimes it's my first commentating bell it's not my fault <laughs> but yeah she switches out to her metagross here predicting the sludge bomb and then goes for the zen headbutt next turn I was stupid here and I went for the flamethrower when I should have went for the will-o-wisp but I wasn't thinking at the time and yeah I made one bad play in the battle it doesn't really matter so, I send out my, I think, yeah, Darude here, because I'm predicting for the Zen Headbutt to come back out, and then right here, I actually did predict correctly, and I was surprised that she didn't predict me to go back out to Darude, but, whatever, I got a free turn there. So, I go Mega here, and then go for this cr straight up Crunch, because I'm like, eh, stab, Crunch, super effective, it could totally take out that. Um, Metagross, but she gets off an Earthquake first. Right here, I was kind of scared, because I don't know if... I didn't know if Druid can live it, but since I went Mega, his defense stat did go up, so... I lived it. So I go for the Crunch here, taking out that Metagross. That thing was a big threat. It could, honestly, sweep my whole team. Because it has priority, it has a lot of attacking power, and it's just big threat overall. My Pokemon, and also Sticky Webs was put up, so it was faster than all my Pokemon. So anyways, I send back out um, my Bacterian for a sacrificial play, but he actually goes for the U-turn, predicting that switch, and goes out to his Greninja here, I think, yes. He switches out to his Greninja, and I could have sacrificed Bacterian here, but I did know that I still had Blissey, good thing I didn't sacrifice it that early in the battle, and I switched out to that because Blissey can take any special attack for days, because its HP is through the roof, and then it's... Special defense is through the roof. I didn't even know it went up to 405. That's that's just crazy. Like, seriously? Blissey for Ubers. <laughs> but yeah, he can't take physical hits f easily because his defense stat is only base 10. So anyways, he goes for the extra sensory here. And that does nothing to Swagsy because, again, super bulky. And right here, I predict him to switch out. So I go for the Toxic. Just a safe play. I don't know if... I didn't remember if he had... Anything that can exor absorb the Thunder Bolt, like a Volt Absorb Pokemon, or uh, a Fire-type Pokemon that, like a Flash Flare, or I don't know what it's called. I, th I think it's called Flash Flare or Fire Flash. I don't know what it's called, but it can absorb them um, flamethrowers. So anyways, yes, I did go for the Toxic, like I said, and he switches out to his Jellicent, which was... Surprising to me, I didn't know he would switch out to that. I guess he was predicting the flamethrower, but nah. I'm too smart for that. Safe plays all today. <laughs> all today. <laughs> all today. Okay, let's let's get off that. 
So anyways, he goes for the will o -Wisp here. I go for the Thunderbolt, ho hoping to get some damage off. I knew it wasn't going to do that much, because Jellicent is also bulky in its special D. But yeah, I was just hoping to chip away at... Is it a guy? Yeah, at his health, because... I, I knew over time the Toxic would whittle away, but he also has Recover, which kind of sucks. Because right here, against my uh, Blissing his Jellicent, it was just kind of a back and forth stalling match for a while. He did predict me to go into Darude there, because he probably w thought I wanted to end it soon, but... Like this battle here soon. But I didn't, because I was like, YOLO so I can beg Thunderbolt all day. <laughs> yeah. I just realized how, like amazing shiny jellison is i kind of want one now it's like that green and then the pringle face just look too good i was kind of random that i said that but whatever so he goes for the recover here really this this was actually making me mad right here because i was like oh this is going to last forever i want to get onto my other battles because i was streaming at the time and just this jellison was getting annoying also he got the cursed body ability on that jellison and it did activate and it got rid of my thunderbolt so i'm like okay i can't do any damage here now i might as well switch out because i was like no not having none of this having none of this i don't want to sit here flamethrowering it and then waiting for toxic to whittle it down so i actually switch out to drew oh no i didn't switch out yet oh yeah i did go for flamethrower once i didn't know if i did or not because it is a weird play but i want to see how much damage it would do and it did nothing as you can see there so, right here, I actually do switch out into Darude now, because I was like, no, nope, I'm not having any of this. And he predicts that, and I'm like, okay. This guy's smart, because, honestly, it was kind of predictable, because I don't have Thunderbolt. I would try Flamethrower once, just to see how much damage it does, and then I would try to switch out to Darude. That was just an easy thing to predict. He did go for the Will-O-Wisp here. It was smart, because, yeah. Darude also doesn't have that much health. I didn't know if he was faster than Jellison with Sticky Webs taking down its speed, but surprisingly, I I don't remember. I think it was, but he, yeah, it wasn't. So he goes for Scald here. Oh, he actually... Oh, wow. I do not remember that. I didn't see that then. He went for Scald, actually. He never went for um, will o there. He went for Scald and got the burn off that way. I wasn't paying attention when I was first doing the battle, so I didn't know if he will o or got a burn off Scald. So he gets the burn off Scald, and I go for the Crunch next turn. Surprisingly, I was faster in him. I think it was a speed tie, so that was lucky. And I do take out the Jellison. I was actually surprised by this, because I was burned, so I was like, I'm going to do nothing. But anyways, I get taken down by this burn next turn, and I was actually surprised that Daru actually survives through all that. Dude, you, you actually did work at Spell. So I send out my Hitmonchan next, because I was like, Hitmonchan can probably do a lot of work against all of his Pokemon now. Except for this Pinsir, Pinsir because Pinsir OP. So I get stuck in Sticky Webs. He goes for the... I think he gets greedy here and goes for the Swords Dance. And I go for the Ice Punch, predicting him to actually go Mega Pinsir. Because he can't really do anything to me without going Mega. Because he needs that Aerial 8. But he goes for the... Yeah, the... um. Swords Dance here. I go for the Ice Punch. I thought it was going to kill, but surprisingly, it didn't. That thing... Or Himonchan doesn't really hit that hard. Even with Iron Fist, I was surprised. Himonchan does do work, though, in battles. I do know that. Sometimes, at least. And I go for Mock Punch, just because I was like, eh, let's get a little more damage off before he kills me. He goes for Facade here, and I was like, okay. Weird play, but... Yeah, he could have went for a Quick Attack and just took it out without taking that mock punch damage but whatever so i sent out town flame here because i'm like okay i gotta get this quick ko off on this thing because it's sword stance i want none of that i don't want to die or get sweep from it so i go for brave bird here taking out that mega pincer that big threat god mega pincer i don't know why people don't use it more it's actually really strong i guess because of stealth rocks but that's the only thing it's really weak to oh super effective moves that he's weak to too but whatever so he sends out his Infernape here because he has really nothing else to send out. I go for the Brave Bird. I thought it was maybe Sash, but it wasn't because he did send it out. He had a few more Pokemon, but yeah, he's not going to outspeed that thing because Gale Wings, 2 OP, <laughs> Talonflame for Ubers. 
And then he sends out his last Pokemon, Greninja, here, and I actually went with Brave Bird because, again, Talonflame for Ubers. I don't get why, like, you're banning all these Megas that aren't even th super threats, like Mega Blaziken, and you don't, and you, like, ban it, but you don't look at this threat here. Talonflame is super strong. I don't know. Smogon's just weird. But anyways, I did win this battle with, I think, a 3-0? I think so. Yeah, 3-0. My Rotom was still alive, my Talonflame was still alive, and my Blissube was still alive. But anyways, if you guys did like this episode, leave a comment down below telling me what you did like and telling me what I can improve on. I know my commenting on battles aren't that great, but I'm just starting out. So anyways, remember, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with coming on me off.